Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I'd like to share with you this Graphic 45 craft board matchbox. And this one is 3x5, I believe. 3x5 by 1.5. It's their small one. They also sell them in 8x8 and I believe in 12x12. Here's their 8x8. And this takes paint wonderfully. You can separate this and use the top separate from the bottom. In today's video I did, and I, I have a start to finish on this, so if you'd like to see how I made this, then stay tuned. I used the Prima Printery Collection, the 6x6. And I also used some Tim Holtz Black Soot Distress Ink and a blender. Cut at Home has the little round ones now, which I've heard are great, so I need to pick some of those up. On the front, I just have some flowers from my stash. These are um, Wild Orchid Craft and Craft Supplies One, along with a charm and some pearls. I also have a rhinestone buckle here with a pearl in the center. And also use some lace around the sides and some pearl trim and I did not continuously go around the sides that way I could still open this little box and let me show you when you open it it has an accordion style album inside I also finished the inside as well and like I said I do have a start to finish so if you'd like to see all that then stay tuned I have a little bit of hug snug black seam binding and when you open it up, it will hold tons and tons of photos. Sorry, I know you can't see all of it in the video because it's so large, but as you can see, it's double-sided. I just simply cut these papers down to four and three-fourths, scored them at two and three-eighths, and accordion fold them to each other. See that in greater detail if you'd like here in a minute. So I went ahead and added the seam binding and then added another decorative piece of paper over the top just so it hid that seam binding going across the back. And so when you place it in, the photos you can put in here are going to be 2x2 two two or 2x3 two photos. And then it just slides right back in. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you check out Graphic 45, all their staples collection. They have lots on Cut at Home. They also have um, lots of paper also. And stop by Cut at Home's blog. I'll have the link down in the description box below. There's lots of product information and inspiration on there. Thanks so much for watching.